You know, it's just me, Scotty McClue. Quick pop up to say hi. Uh, hope you're all well and welcome, welcome, welcome to TikTok's Top Talk Show. How fantastic is that? TikTok's Top Talk Show with me, Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. McCann has just joined us and is very, very welcome, as are the rest of you. Lovely to have you with us. And as we say in the best of circles, dinky do fit like Scotty says, McClue. Oh, no, McCann, we're fine. There are good kind of folk in already. And the uh, other loons and the quines are coming to join us, you know, as for sure do's. Are you chaffing a while? Uh, so there we go. Now, that's excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How amazing is that? I've had so many complimentary things today about this morning's pop-up. We popped up this morning just to see who was about, and it was absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding, quite incredible. There we are. Say happy birthday to Jesse, please. Yes, I can, X. I can do that. Are you 90? Um, I'm not Joe 90, just in case you were wondering. That was somebody else. Although I've been confused with Brains that used to work with Joe 90. Do you remember Brains? Evening, the Duke of Dundee. Dinky do, dinky do, Scotty lad. Uh, Grandpa, me, and Mummy are coming over on Monday if it's fine by you. So <laughs> and no, we can't because of social distancing. So it's probably best not. Uh, can you say happy birthday to Josh? Yes, I can. I can say a very happy birthday to him. Dick, you do, Scotty. Have a great night. Sparicles, thank you. You've been on long enough today, so your excused boots, you see. Can everybody follow me as soon as you come on? Dick, you do. Follow, follow, follow. And uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live. Can I have a shout? Shout out, you can have a shout out to CH7. There we are, CH7. That sounds like a hymn, doesn't it? Church hymnary seven. <laughs> there we go, just getting sorted out. Fantastic. Now, um, Scott, is it true you're holding a virtual picnic? Yes, there's always a virtual picnic going on here. What he's trying to say is he'd like to leave for a more economically stable job, says Noon. Who are you talking to, Noon? Obviously not to me. So there we are, dinky do. Who have we got? Are you related to Brian Blessed? Oh, very nice. So there are good draw for Preston today, Scotty, up the north end. Up the north end. God bless Tommy Finney. Fantastic. Hello. I love you. I thank you. That's very kind of you. Hi, dinky do, dinky do, my son. Dinky do, my son. So there you are. Now then, uh, Dawad, you need to go and grow up. I, I could ban you. Shall we ban Dawad, or do you think there's a chance he'll grow up? There we are. Everybody's followed us. Thanks very much, Bob. Brilliant. Can everybody follow, guys? I can see if you're following now. I'll just have a look and see who's followed me. And I'll be able to test. Hold on here. Uh, there we are. So if you can follow me as soon as you come on. Bree says you look like a gangster. <laughs> what kind of gangsters do you know, Bree? I think you're looking in the mirror. So there we are. Follow me as soon as you come on, guys. Follow, follow, follow. That's it there. That's the instruction. I hope it's not too difficult. I know it might be too difficult for some people on here. <laughs> some of the wee trolls, the wee middens that come on. Uh, how you doing, Scotty? Lovely to have you with us. Big shout out to Green Pastures. I loved you in chewing the fat. There we are. Well, thank you for that. I wasn't actually in it, but I'll take the hit. Uh, done. Fantastic, Iola. And also, you need to subscribe to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. You'll get the link on the Instagram badge beside my profile here. I'm the gangster here, says Brie. I think so, Brie, yes. I think you're having a wee look at the mirror. Uh, Louis, no, you mustn't assume everybody does the same job as yourself. So there we are, but uh, I hope you're having a nice time flipping. There we are, very much appreciated. Can you say hi, please, to Caleb? Caleb, I can. Uh, so there we are. Scotty is asking me if I drink a certain beer. I don't drink alcohol at all. So there we are. No alcohol, I say. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we're live on TikTok with the TikTok Top Talk Show. Hello from Liverpool, my friend. Hello, Liverpool. 
We love the bones of you. So there we are. Hi, can you say hi to Jasmine? Yes, I can. I can do that. Listen, never mind all this, can you say? I can say anything. It just depends what it is. Shout out to Archie, absolutely king of the TikTok. Joseph, thank you. There we are. Hi from Limerick. Ah, there was a young fellow from Limerick. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there we are. Uh, no, Smexy, you mustn't assume everybody works where you do. So there you go. Uh, now, who have we got here? Dinky do. Everybody's joining us. Fantastic. Uh, I'll just take a little comfort break. It's quite hot in the studio tonight. Woo Amazing. So we might uh, we might get that from time to time. How are you, mate? Says Nico. Fine, Nico. Thank you for asking. Any news on the radio show? Nothing as yet. There's the wonderful Kareem coming on and with incredible generosity sending me TikToks. Kareem, thank you so much. You're a very, very kind and generous man. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, this morning's pop-up was outstanding. I've been getting emails all day from people saying how much they're enjoying it. So there you are. And uh, Smexy, yes, you can say hello to your nan, uh, you know, if she's with us, absolutely. If it was nan bread, it would be N double E N, and that would be a Peshwari nan for me. I like the Peshwari nan, absolutely. R.I.P. Ripper, yes, indeed. Ooh. Say hi, Charlotte. I love your accent. Thank you, Charlotte. It's not really an accent. It's just the way I talk. I've uploaded a lot of new TikToks for you guys. Get on and enjoy them. Scotty, do you still work? Or if you're retired, what was it? Of course I'm not retired. I'm only in my 20s. I've just had a very tough life. So there we are. Scotty, you went to Loch Winnoch with the dogs. I loved it. Thank you, Kareem. Every second of it, I was there with you virtually. Yes, I hope the dogs got a hug from Scotty McClue. Your views on tap water? Thoroughly enjoy it, John. Mm. It's tap stuff. <laughs> See what I just did there? How amazing is that? Originally Govan and now from Butte Tank Tom, you have knocked it off. Govan is a brilliant place to stay, and so is the Isle of Butte. <coughs> Opinions on bread. I love it. Too much, actually. I'm too fond of bread. Italy or Russia, please pick one. Italy or Russia. Depend what for? What would I be going for? Would I be going for the culture? Would I be going for the language? Would I be going for the climate? So ask me, qualify it, then ask me again. Cheers to sobriety, but what I will say, see, in Italian and in Russia, I say to you, dos vidania. There we are, dinky do, says Christian. That water looks refreshing. John, it is gorgeous. Have you ever been to Dundee, Scotty? I live there. Oh, I know it, Ken Dundee. Ken Dundee, yes, absolutely. Ken the Douglas and Angus, Ken the Whitfield, Ken doing the tune. So there we are. Ken the whole place, absolutely. Uh, you're the best things to slice bread, says John. I thank you, John. Would you live on rations for a week? I have done. Yes, I've done all these things. So there we are. You look like you can't swim. I tend to just float. <coughs> Scotty, any challenges for the summer coming? Oh, Kareem, yes, huge challenges. Absolutely. Unknown, we don't ask anybody pronouns on here. We're far, far more advanced than that. We're all inclusive. The Scottish water's back. The Canadian water just isn't the same, Scotty. Drusky, is it not? That's interesting. How amazing. Fantastic stuff. Come and join us, guys, and follow me, please. I can tell if you followed me. So please follow. We're very short on followers and very, very big on viewers. Hundreds of thousands have seen Scotty McClure's TikToks live, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm just checking if anybody's followed me. Please follow as soon as you come on. Pappy, we don't do pronouns. We're way, way, way ahead of that. Oh, yes. This is, uh, this is forward thinking on here. You know, pronouns, 
That's where, you know, you're just embarrassing people asking them that. You should never have to say your pronouns. There we go. Follow me, follow me, follow me, everybody. Italian language or Russian language. Oh, both beautiful language. Language of Russia. Language of Italy. Si. Bella, bella. Fantastic. I think I may have mentioned before at St. Andrews on the old course. You might, Anna, yes, but I may have been either walking the course or caddying. Uh, it's my birthday today. Can you greet me with a happy birthday? Yes, I can. So there you are. Oh, that's very personal unknown. There's somebody asking my sexuality. <laughs> Fantastic, isn't it? Are you a betting man, Scotty? Um, no, no, I'm not actually. There we are. I won't, uh, I won't accept the bet. Aha, uh, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. you need to just go and grow up or I'll give you a lifetime ban. That's all I can say to you. Um, Lara, remember never to ask about pronouns. Is the Easter bunny real? Of course. I saw one on a horse. I posted it to my Facebook page. I saw you a while ago, but was scared to say hi. Never, ever, ever be scared to say hi to Scotty McClure. Never a problem. Dinky do, what's your views on the Grand National? Well, it's a wonderful thing. Jocelyn, I'm going to give you a ban, I think. Jocelyn's getting a ban, guys, for being an idiot. The Grand National, wonderful, wonderful thing. There's Josh Lanaway. Bye, Jocelyn. Uh, <laughs> half wit. Now, um, no, the Grand National, absolutely wonderful, but I do worry about the well being of the horses. So there we go. Aha, aha, aha. You're getting a lifetime ban for being an idiot as well, a wee troll. So that's aha, 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 away for a block. Good, wonderful, there we are. Guys, remember if you're coming on and you're putting on anything that's not appropriate, you'll just disappear for life. Gone, Scotty McClure doesn't have any nonsense on here. How do you do, dinky do? Hey, Santa! Fant have you ever been to Birkenhead? Yeah, I know Birkenhead really well. Okay, that's, uh, who did you get? Camel Laird, the shipbuilders at Birkenhead. Yeah. Fantastic. And that's where they used to lay up the great big steamships, the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company. So the old ones used to go to Birkenhead. Fantastic. So there we go. Be like Scotty troops. Absolutely. Scotty, what did you study at Uni Arts? I'm an arts man. There it is. And I've just found an absolute little treasure today, which I'll tell you all about later. <coughs> Scotty, what station are you on now, says Rob? Um, not on at the moment, Rob. I finished up last year, about this time last year, and uh, we're just waiting to hear about the next step. Who's the outstanding fellow in the painting behind? Oh, that's me. <laughs> uh, I feel even more humble than usual. Are you vegan? I enjoy vegetables. So there you are. Will that do you? Goodbye to the trolls. The trolls have gone, Kareem. We will keep them down. Uh, there we are. Now, do you think farmers are key workers, lad? I do, lad. I think they are key workers, lad. So keep farming, lad. Absolutely. Oh, my ears. What are you doing? Have you had them pierced? There we are. Your dad. <laughs> You're so cool, says Seagull. Seagull, what a lovely thing to say. You remind me of Uncle Albert, says Spontaneous. We liked Uncle Albert. Guys, follow me, please, as soon as you come on. Follow, follow, follow. We're very short of followers, very big on viewers. <laughs> Usually it's the other way with people, isn't it? Can I have your hat? Uh, have you watched Tranmere Rovers? I have. I used to announce them on the television. Have you ever owned a budgie? Um, no, I've never owned a, a, any birds. I've always been very polite to them. So there we go. Uh, but no, I haven't. I haven't. What's your favorite three-course meal? Scotch broth, fish and chips, steam pudding and custard. <laughs> Terrible art. So there we are. Love it. Study art at Glasgow. I thank you. Yes, it's an arts degree. It's not painting. It's dramatic art. <coughs> Dinky-doo. Hello, Scotty. Uh, so I want your hat. 
We've been trying to reach you about your cars, extended warranty. Oh, yes, yes. Well, I've got one 29 years old and one 21 years old. So there'll be a good warranty on them, I would think. Evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. This is the last chance to reach you. Of course it is. Do you still work? And he gives me a shop. No, I've never worked there. So there we go. Now, uh, aye, what would a day, lad? Uh, don't turn into one of the vegans. There's somebody informed about stuff. The vegans, are they not the ones that contribute a bit more methane to the greenhouse gases? Do you support Rangers or Celtic? What you'd be better doing, Ethan, is going and watching them both play, and then you can decide which one you want. There we go. Now, guys, asking me where to work, ask if that's really the limit of your IQ, or if you could even be cleverer than that, and think of something intelligent to say, or don't say anything. <clears throat> so there we go. Got a little cough there, Scotty boy. Better get a test rapid. No, nope, no need for any of that. Tested and tested and tested. The cough I've had for 21 years since I gave up smoking. So there we are. Do a wave check. Okay, I just wanted to say keep your head up and be a beautiful, confident person you are meant to be. Jasmine, you say the loveliest things. Can you shout me out, says Mason? I can. So there we are. Now, you see, there's dolls saying, do you work in a superstore? What, what are you asking that for? You know, that's uh, daft. There's somebody asking about private life and stuff like that. Half-witted idiots. There we are. Okay, I'll watch them both. Watch them both. See what you think. Can everybody follow us, please? I bet you drive a Land Rover Defender. Not a Defender, Ethan. No. So there we go. Wasn't Spock a vegan? I remember the vegan death grip. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so there you go. Scotty doesn't simp for anyone. What do you think of Alex's new party? Very, very interesting. We shall see. Guys, can you all follow me? And can you click on the uh, little Instagram symbol, and it'll take you to the YouTube channel. Subscribe and tap the bell so you can get the YouTubes when you go live. Can you say, Enya is very cool, Enya is very cool. Jesus loves you, quite correct. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Can we buy the badge in your hat? Not yet, but we'll sort that. There's one there for you, is that all right? Do you like that? Scotty McClue, dinky do. Uh, hi, it's Anne from Kilmarnock. Hi, can you say hi to Kai, please? I can, Kai. Can you all follow us, guys? If you're watching and you haven't followed us, ask yourself why. There we are. Scotty doesn't simp for anyone. Absolutely. I got my DNA back this week. I'm 60% Scottish. That's quite high, Duncan. Uh, there's not many have got that. Scotty, good night from Norwich. We love Norwich. Bless you in Norfolk there. So there we go. Um, can you say hi to Jemima? Yes, I can. Uncle Albert from Fools and Horses. Fantastic. Hi, I'm Sarah from Guruk. We like Guruk. So there we are. <clears throat> now, uh, yes, my mother's side. Ah, very, very good. That is excellent. So, who have we got here? Guys, don't be silly. If you're coming on, you need to grow up. This isn't the kind of junk you're used to watching. This is very, very, very stylish talk show on TikTok Live, and you're very, very privileged to be watching it. So, don't be silly. Use it well and wisely. Hello from North Carolina. We love the Carolinas. Hi, I've got mine. I'm 75% Pyrex. I must have been a test tube, baby. Very good. We like that. Toff. Are you a toff? There we are. We've got a toff on, guys, called Nohoff the Toff. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Dinky do. Hello from Newcastle. Hello, Ashley. How are you? From Newcastle. Fantastic. Dinky do. Uh, Ramsey. I think you're not. There we go. Now, hello from Donachadee in Northern Ireland. We love Donachadee and Dinky do. So there we go. I got my DNA test. I'm 90% McClue. Good for you. When's there going to be a united Ireland? When everybody agrees. Isn't the second, everybody from the north and the south, 
and from the rest of the UK all agree Ireland will come together as a united country. Will you all agree, I ask you? Hello, Scotty from Kent. Dinky do, have you been on Still Game? No, but somebody did say I was the inspiration for Still Game. Isn't that interesting? What do you think of the salmon party? So there we are. Uh, fantastic. Um, everybody, dinky do, the majority, yes. Everybody watching right now, following Scotty McClure, live on TikTok just for you, the one stop broadcast of the Foss Lord of the Internet. 36 years of television and radio. Hello from Widnes. I love Widnes. My old friend Keith Macklin was from Widnes. Evening, says Connor Dinky Do. What's your favourite fruit? I love the banana and I enjoy the apple as well. And uh, what else do we like? I quite like the grape. Scotty McClure, how are you? Says Dico. Hello from Aberdeen, says Ben. Ben Dinky Do for Aberdeen. Uh, lovely to hear you, Wheels. Fit like new. Hello from South Africa. Welcome. What part of South Africa are you from? Are you from Joburg? Are you from the Eastern Cape? When will Palestine be free? That's an interesting question. Yes. So there we are. Uh, Ben's followed us. Thanks, Ben. Everybody follow Scotty McClue, guys. Let me see if you're following here because... Some people don't follow for some strange reason, and they should. So there you are. So if you can get following, that would be brilliant. Fantastic. Foos, foos your pan traps. I dinky do. They're lovely. Right, follow us now. Show us your trim. Ah, now, are you from Argyle? I say, can you say hi to us? I can. Hello from Edinburgh. David, lovely to have you from Edinburgh. There's somebody asking... Would you ever run for the Scottish Parliament? Do you think, Connor, I would make a good MSP? Right? Tell me what you think, and I'll consider that. How do you eat your Cadbury's cream egg with delight? Absolutely. Hi from Croydon. I had one the other day, and it was gorgeous. It took me back to childhood. I'm from Durban in South Africa. We love it. Dinky do, yas. Welcome from South Africa. Did you have a bray tonight? Have you had something on the bray? There we are. Now, who have we got here? Um, roses are red, violets are blue. Scotty McClue says dinky do. The happy squirrel says you can have that for free. I thank you. There we are. I think you'd be a good MSP. Do you think so, Connor? Right, question. Would Scotty McClue make a good member of Parliament? Yes or no? So there we are. Can you say hi to Aoife? Yes, of course I can. Hello from Norway. Have been in Edinburgh. I love it. We love you lovely people from Norge. Norge. Yes, have I said it right? King Hakon. Do you remember King Hakon? Are you too young for that? Scotty, how long ago did you do the late night show on the radio? Oh, guys, I've been doing late night shows on the radio all over the country. But the one you might be talking about would be the Scott FM one, Central Scotland. That was 25 years ago. There we are. And uh, Lewis, you need to go and grow up or I'll just have to bin you. In fact, I'll just bin you now. You're not going to be talking any sense till you have a thing. So Lois is going, guys. Bye, Lois, for being a silly person. Right, gone. That's the end of that. She's not got a friend called that, so she's a fibber for the start. Give me an awa, awa, akawa, akawe. Are there moles in Scotland? Do you mean spies? Or do you mean little brown marks on your skin? Or do you mean little furry people that like to go under the bowling green? Do tell us what you're referring to. What an amazing guy. Come back, come back. Uh, so there we go. Now then, Scotty McClure, what a great thing. Thank you to John. Uh, do you think Lord Looking, Lord Looking, is still alive. Well, he has officially been declared dead so that his son could take on the title. 
So there you are. But you never know, you see. Can you treat me like a prince? I treat everyone like a prince. There we are. Now, who have we got here? You have no rights. No rights for what? Um, no rights or no lefts. The voice of Scotland, Scott FM. Scott FM. There we go. Who have we got? Who was the first king of Scotland? Well, Scotland's monarchy goes back 2000. 437 years, and the first king was an ancestor of Ri, R-I. That's where you actually get the title royal from, like le roi in French, you see? So there you go, so an ancestor of the old Pictish and Celtic kings, Ri. Uh, there we are, 2,437 years ago. What's up, cool cat? Your dinky doo. Hello from Idaho. Say hello. Hello, Jan. Dinky doo. What's your opinion on people who believe in spirituality? We love it. We love people who believe in all sorts of things. There we are, as long as it's legal. There we are. Bye, Lewis. Yeah, he's gone. So, how's your day been? Fantastic. So there we are. What's the best radio show? There's That was the best radio show there's been for years. There's nothing on the radio ever to match the Scotty McLoon nightline throughout the UK. It should be on the BBC nationally right now. When people are fed up, they're bored, they're lonely, all that sort of stuff. And, you know, they're wanting to talk. You're a belter, pal, dinky doo dee rop. The mole's closely related to the haggis, as you know, Scotty. Oh, yes, the mole. Although, can the haggis see, or is the haggis visually challenged? Because the mole is visually challenged, but not, not challenged at digging. Can we all get liking and sharing? Yes. Has anybody followed me? Follow Scotty McClure as soon as you possibly can. Get yourself on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Put that into your search engine. There we are. We've got a few followers, but nothing to write home to Granny about. Can you sing a sea shanty? Yes. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo-ho-ho -ho, and a bottle of rum. Drink to the devil and hope for the best. Yo-ho-ho -ho, and a bottle of rum. There you go, there's a sea shandy. Or you could put a bit of lemonade in your beer and have a sea shandy. Uh, hello, good sir, how are you? Do you know any Welsh history? I know about the dog now, what was the dog's name? Gellert. The story of Gellert. Have you heard that? It's heartbreaking. So there you go. Heartbreaking. Absolutely. There we go. Scotty, how are you doing? Scotty, do you prefer a weekend Edinburgh or a weekend in Glasgow? Shall I tell you what happened to Gellert or is it too sad? I think the story was... Uh, the baby got taken, and Gellert was the pet dog. And when somebody uh, went in, the baby had disappeared, and they found Gellert with blood on his jaws. And uh, they shot Gellert. So Gellert was dead. And then they heard crying, and it was the baby. And the baby was unharmed. And beside the baby was a dead wolf. Gellert had attacked the wolf and protected the baby. So, things are not always what they seem, folks. They are, Scotty, do you prefer a weekend in Edinburgh, Glasgow? Um, I don't mind. It depends what I'm doing and who I'm with. That's the difference. I've lived in both cities and love them. Scotty, how are you doing? So, who have we got here? What were the Queen of England? Has she been ousted? No, Queen of Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. There we are. You have no authority here, Jackie. I've said that on my, uh, you'll get it on. Guys, make sure you listen to all the TikTok videos and watch them. They're amazing. You'll love them. Follow me, please. So there we are. Where did you buy your hat? This one came from Fife. For the kingdom of Fife, 
You're fab, says Jane. Thank you. So there we are. The first king of Scots was Kenneth McAlpin. Kenneth McAlpin. Yes, he was crowned in 963, was it? Uh, at Donad Fort, just north of Loch Gilpid, near to Kilmartin. Uh, but that was much, much, much later. The first king of Scots. But there was a king in Scotland 2000. 347 years ago. There's an education for you, my boy. You listen to McClure. He knows best. Santa has had a beard cut. Who was the least popular Scottish monarch? Well, obviously Charles I, who was Charles Stuart, and they put him to death. The idiots, halfwits, cowards, dreadful people who should apologize, any anti-monarchist, don't trust them, right? They are dodgy. So there you are. Um, so I would say Charles I, they divided him into head and body, but they had to bring back the monarchy. And here's a wee bit of information for you. If you go to horse guards to this day, and you look up at the clock, on the clock is a black mark by the figure two. That was the time they put Charles the First to death. He nothing common did or mean upon that memorable scene. And he wore uh, two shots so that he wouldn't shiver because he didn't want people to think he was frightened, bless him. Great wee guy. So there we are. He had his faults like everyone. You had a few, Scotty boy. No, I don't drink alcohol at all. So there are, do you like cheese? I have a slight intolerance, but I do love it. So who was the most popular Scottish monarch? So there you are. Well, again, you're unpopular. You had Mary, Queen of Scots. She had a tough time as well. Uh, who was the most popular Scottish monarch? Um, it depends. Popular for what? Mary, Queen of Scots was very popular. Um, who else did we have? Probably uh, James, I would think. There we are. And, of course, we had James II, who didn't become the monarch. But I would think James would have been the most popular. There you are. Your view on park benches, great for playing the game park bench. Fantastic. Now, what have we got here? Evening school, that was in my video school book. Mickey, is that right? The tale of Gellert the dog. How do you rate fellow broadcaster James Whale? Outstanding broadcaster, lovely man. Unfortunately, not terribly well at the moment, but uh, I, I sat in for James on the old talk radio one night. So there we are. James had to go somewhere, and Scotty McClure sat in for him. Uh, Scott will just dump you because you're obviously a halfwit. So Scott's gone because he can't think of anything intelligent to write on the world's top TikTok. <laughs> Off you go, Scott. I say, who was the last Scottish monarch? Well, the present queen is the most recent Scottish monarch. So there you are. Absolutely. Uh, prior to the Union, it was Queen Anne. Your views on Morecambe. I love the views from Morecambe. I love Morecambe very much. I used to broadcast to Morecambe from Red Rose Radio. Uh, you are Tory, says Drob. What's a Tory? So somebody from Tory and Aberdeen. So there we go. Your views on independence. Yes, I think Scotland would do very, very well economically. Uh, out of the Union. We don't like Cromwell in Ireland. No, Mickey, you won't. And uh, there was a wonderful um, Irish secretary, I think it was called in these days, called uh, Secretary of State for Ireland, called Fitzwilliam in the 1500s, and he got sent back for being too pro-Catholic. Isn't that interesting? Wonderful stuff. So they are good choice. God save the Queen. Absolutely. Bonnie Prince Charlie was the most popular Prince of Wales in Scotland. Well, Bonnie Prince Charlie wasn't actually the Prince of Wales, Mickey. Uh, not to my knowledge, anyway. I'll check it out for you. But uh, he wasn't the Prince of Wales. The Prince of Wales at the time would have been... 
George the Fourth, I think. Yes, I think George the Fourth would have been the Prince of Wales. Is that right? So there we are. And uh, your views on binoculars. Well, I think they're twice as effective as the telescope. There are thoughts on Robert the Bruce. Big fan, big fan. He was on the run in Tarbert, and a goat let him suckle her. He was going to starve to death, and a goat let him take her milk, and he survived. And he passed a law that wild goats must roam free in Scotland. Away with the monarchy, never, ever, ever lean. Will the monarchy go anywhere? They once tried it, failed, thank goodness. The monarchy are the curators and custodians of the crown. That's our symbol of authority. The monarchy is going nowhere, ever. Okay, fantastic. So we are. Now, who have we got here? You're rocking with independence, absolutely. Thank you for the education, Scotty. Bye. Not at all, Nether. Lovely to have you with us. Pretending Prince of Wales. No, he wasn't even the pretending Prince of Wales because his father wasn't the king. You see, have you got that? Have you ever made your own uh, cheese? No, but I know people who have, and it's delicious. So there you go. Fantastic stuff. Um, and I know people that made their own butter. Dinky do, my guy. Did Robert the Bruce get the nickname as he was a fan of the Generation Game? Yes, he used to start battles like that, you know, and shout, higher, higher. Fantastic. <laughs> nice to see you, to see you. Nice. There we are. I wonder if that's how they started Bannockburn. The spider, dinky do, Mickey. Uh, fantastic. How do you calculate who was in monarchy at any given point? I can't fathom it. Well, the happy squirrel, it's very, very obvious who was in on these dates. For instance, Union of the Crown, 1603, James the Sixth of Scotland, who became James the First of England. So the monarchy is a Scottish institution. Spitting more facts than David Attenborough. We love David Attenborough. I did an impersonation this morning. Nothing is stirring in the frozen landscape. Then across the Arctic tundra, we see a slight movement. It's the one and only occupant of this wasteland, the Arctic fox. Did you like that? Was that any good for a David Attenborough? How many seconds in a year? Well, let's try and work it out mentally. So there we are. There's 60 seconds in a minute. So uh, 600 in 10 minutes, 6,001 hour 40 minutes. So divide your 24 hours by 1 hour 40 and then multiply it by 365 and you'll get quite close to it. I didn't like mirrors initially, but upon reflection, I can see their uses. Oh, who said that? Thunder Firefly, you're always good. There we are. Up, oh, Ireland, says Ella. Absolutely. Sing us a wee song. I can't, Jamie Boy, because copyright, you see. What I will do, I'll play you, um, I'll play you an Easter hymn for Good Friday. There we are. Play our Easter hymn. For Good Friday, are we ready? Right, here we go. Did you like that? Excellent stuff. I uh, hear somebody saying Celtic are better than Rangers. It depends what at. So there you are. What's your favorite type of hedge row? Oh, I, I like the uh, beach and I like the hedges in Cornwall. 
Fantastic. B&M or Home Bargains, both are absolutely outstanding shops, and I frequent them both regularly. So there you are. I'm a great customer um, of uh, both. Wonderful. Now, Scotty's lived for that moment. Absolutely. I'm more of a David Bellamy man. Well, David Bellamy, very, very good. The trees are the lungs of the world. Yes, indeed. Can you do an Alan Wicker impersonation? So let's just see how many of these things are still extant and talk to the man himself. <laughs> Very good. There we are. Ten ten for the impression, my boy. Uh, you shoot. Who have we got here? Favorite game show? Oh, uh, I do like the chase. Actually, like that. But I love the generation game. Yes, uh, Bruce Forsyth and and Larry Grayson. Do you remember Larry Grayson? Fit like Scotty Man for you, Dean. Ah, oh, for you, Dean Sunday man. Good to hear your wheels. There are good kind of folk on the next day. Eh? Oh, the quines and ah, the loons are here. Are you Irish or British? Well, that's a very strange question, Josh, because uh, British just means you live on a landmass called Britain. There's no such country as Britain. So are you Irish? Are you Scottish? Are you Northern Irish? Are you English? Are you Welsh? That's the question you would ask. So there you are. And uh, you could be a Briton. It's Roman, actually. But there's no such country as Britain. So forget that. <clears throat> what have we got here? Has everybody followed, please, guys? We're very short on followers. As soon as you come on, please follow Scotty McClure. I don't understand it. I get thousands and thousands of viewers. I mean, well over half a million have viewed my TikToks live since we began about two weeks ago. But only a handful of you, for some reason, actually follow. Get following. Otherwise, you won't know when we're coming up. Get the notifications. Let me see if you've followed. I'm going to watch. Uh, there we are. Who's followed? Right. We need a lot more followers than that. Are you any good at boxing? Well, I only box one day a year. That's on the 26th of December, what you would call St. Stephen's Day in Ireland. Fit like Scotty Man for you, Dan. I am a black belt in karaoke, though, if that's any help. Love your hat. It's cool. Hail, I'm from Malaysia. Atkin. We love having you from Malaysia. Dinky do. Can you play something on the piano, please? Pablo, you must have just missed. I've just given it right on, right on in majesty. In lowly pomp, right on to die. Uh, there we are. It's a Palm Sunday, but of course, this is Good Friday. So there we are. So I might give you uh, Thine Be the Glory to the tune Judas Maccabeus. Depends on the season. So there we go. Um, have you ever stroked a beaver? I wouldn't go near them unless I knew, John, because they've got very, very sharp teeth and they could take your finger off. Do be careful round beavers. So there we go. Uh, Boogie and Arlene Dinky do. Yes, we love them. They're friends of mine. You tell them, boy. Absolutely. Guys, can you all follow me, please? We're short of followers. And get on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. If you click on the little Instagram button beside my profile, it'll take you to both my Instagram account and my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Do that now, actually. Favourite nickname of a Scottish football club? I like the Saints. I like Mon the Ton. I like the Jambos. I the Jam Tarts. I like the, uh, what else have we got? Uh, let's think. I like, it's not Scottish, but I like the Gunners, the Arsenal. So there we are. We like that as well. Um, what else do we have that we like? The high bees. There we go. The hoops. <laughs> the jazz. St. Stephen is amazing. St. Stephen's Day, yes. He boxes on Boxing Day. I do, JD. Well done. 
There we are, lovely beard, bro. There we go. Um, here's somebody asking, Ron, um, is he a friend of yours? So there we go. Uh, how many videos are on your YouTube? I think there's 1,270 now. I would need to check. Guys, get on and just gorge yourself on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. It's a great day in for all the family, and you will absolutely love it. There we are. Bro, your beard's cool. Cabbage and ribs for hips is mine, the old cabbage and ribs. Well, that's cockney rhyming slang like, you know, are you too warm? You can take off your koala, and that would be your koala lumper, your jumper. You see? Stuff like that. I'm away to my Margaret, your Margaret Thatcher, your scratcher. There we are. Scotty, what do you think about Dundee? I love it. I think it's having a tough time. I, if we have independence in Scotland, I would like to direct a lot of funding to Dundee for jobs. Uh, Scotty is defo a Celtic or Rangers fan. Uh, the Pars, do you know the story behind their nickname? I don't, Gemarella. There we are. Who have we got here? Art Monty Dinky Do. What's your opinions on the 12th of July? Well, my question would be, um, why are you following King Billy? Because he was quite dodgy as a person. Very, very dodgy. Uh, so they are. So that would be one of my questions. I understand that uh, we are upholding the crown and the Bible. So I understand that. So a lot of things for that. But um, how much is it necessary? Having said that, two days later, if you go to Paris, to Paris, then you will have the 14th of July, or Le 14 Juillet. I ended up in Paris by accident on Le 14 Juillet, and that's celebrating Bastille Day from 1789, 4th of July, 1789, when the people, or Les Peasants, Les Miserables, stormed the Bastille. Can you name all the prime ministers you've lived under? Yes, I can. I just missed Churchill, uh, Anthony Eden, Harold Macmillan, or Macmillan, Harold Macmillan. Now, after Harold Macmillan, who did we have? Harold Wilson. Uh, after Harold Wilson, who did we have? Um, Edward Heath. Uh, so there we are, we've had Edward Heath. After Edward Heath, who was in, um, we had Margaret Thatcher, but in between that we had James Callahan. Yes, James Callahan. And uh, who did we have then? Margaret Thatcher, she was in for 11 years. John Major followed. After John Major, we had Tony Blair. Then we had Gordon Brown. Uh, then we had a few quick fire sessions. Who did we have after Gordon Brown? Um, who was in as Prime Minister following Gordon Brown? Um, Prime Minister following God. Who followed Gordon Brown? It wasn't Theresa May, was it? Or was it Theresa May? There were who followed Gordon Brown, and um, then we had uh, had Boris. But who did we have? I'm sure we had somebody else in, didn't we? Who have I missed? There we are. How's that? Do you quite like that? So there we are, Dinky Doo. As everybody followed us, Dinky Doo from Carlisle. We love Carlisle. Warwick Road, eh? Yes. Butcherby, Araby. Why do you talk like the Queen? I didn't realise I did, Liam. So there we are. It's just the way I speak, I suppose. Uh, very ordinary. Do you remember the Tay Bridge collapse? No, but I knew an old lady who was born the night of the Tay Bridge disaster, which was, I think, 1879. Is that right? And, of course, William McGonagall, 
wrote about it. Oh, silvery tea. Do you think we should be independent? I think Scotland economically and financially could do very well independent, you know, because the Scots understand their own affairs. And Nicola Sturgeon, um, you know, whether you're a fan or not, she is an outstanding politician. She's been an excellent first minister, and she has been very transparent and shown great clarity of leadership. We like that in Scotland. Uh, there we go, dodgy. Uh, you're dodgy, are you? There we are. There's somebody called, I think it's SN, who's dodgy. There we are. Something about the Battle of the Boyne, 1690. There, 12th of July, 1690, and I think people just kind of ran away, really, because the Boyne's a very small river. There we are. Uh, but there was a lot of trouble caused with King William, so there we are. He was dodgy. When I was wee, I traded my dad's black suit for a balloon with a rag and bone man and got scalped. There we are, absolutely. Somebody said, I've just got a £10 from my granny here. And I said, that's a good swap. Subscribe to YouTube, Scotty Old Bean. I thank you, Ron Old Bean. Very, very much appreciated. What's your favourite world capital city and least favourite you've visited? I think I love all of the world. I mean, some of it, you know, I mean, apparently, uh, you know, if you'd gone out to Crater in Aden, where their girls went out, it was quite fetid down in the valley there. It was an old volcano, hence the name. Alec Douglas Hume. Good one, Mickey. I liked Alec Douglas Hume. Um, yes, I knew him. Alec and Elizabeth. Elizabeth was the daughter of his headmaster at Eton. There we are, Elizabeth Douglas Hume. They were lovely people, actually. Where were you born in the 1940s? No, JD, no, 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 much later. Scotty, I was watching you last night. We were on about ghosts. Was that not amazing, Dylan, the ghosts last night? Love this accent, says Raw. Raw, I thank you. You're a very, very kind person. Very, very good of you. Thanks for following us, guys. What about smackaroonies for our currency? Well, do you know, I think we'd be using the pound Scots. And the whole thing about the Pound Scots. Guys, can you all follow me, please? We're very short of followers. I've done a couple of TikToks on Port Glasgow tonight. Get a look at that. Yeah, I thought it was brilliant, says Dylan. Ever been to Gibraltar to Jib? No, but I knew a governor general of Gibraltar. Yes, uh, who, who was a friend. So there you are. In fact, probably one of the last um, ones after the Second World War. And then you would have the next generations of governor general. So there are usually a final posting for a very senior service officer. Nicholas Sturgeon's the best politician, says Nathan. I think you forgot David Cameron. That's the one. Another great example of why Scotland is Texas. I couldn't, I knew I was missing uh, at least one. I was missing two. Forgot Alec Douglas Hume. Hello from Germany, from Bavaria, from the Bavarian Mutterwerken, the BMW. What part of Scotland are you from? All of it, David. I am Scotland personified. Hi from Kinross. Love it, Kinross House. Maggie was the best politician. I don't know, yes. She wasn't popular, I do know, but they voted her in, so she must have been popular with some people. To support a united Ireland, says Pablo. Well, Pablo, it's not really up to me to, to dictate what the Irish people should do. Does Ireland want to be united? You know, that's the thing. Glasgow girl, here we go. Dinky do. A roaster says Stu. Oh, yes, you'll get a roasting on here, Stu, if you're daft. Have you been to Malta? And if so, were you aware of it? I love your hat. Malta uh, got the George Cross for its bravery during the Second World War. So there you are. Fantastic. There we are. Some days, says Mickey. Right. 
So there's no rush, Mickey. I adore Ireland as it is, you know. Ireland doesn't want United, says Callum. Well, Callum, why do some people say it is? Ethan, see that no surrender? You've already surrendered to a handful of Hooray Henrys. So there you go. Uh, now, there's somebody asking me a question, but we won't answer that. Uh, Malta is mighty. I believe it's very beautiful. Uh, I know that the Queen loved when her time in Malta, uh, just after she'd got married and Prince Philip was still a naval officer. Tremendous. And they went to Malta and had a very nice time. Catholics want a united Ireland. Protestants don't. Well, they need to see that they're all of the same religion and Catholics and Protestants need to start falling in love with each other because the differences are very, very, very slight. You know, very slight. You're talking about sitting at the Lord's table if you're not convinced about um, transubstantiation of the bread and the wine of the host. So the differences are really that a Protestant doesn't believe there's an intercessor, i.e. His Holiness the Pope, uh, between God and the people, all right? So they're not, they don't fully believe that His Holiness uh, is, uh, the pontiff is God's representative on earth. So there you are. Having said that, the Queen is the supreme governor of the Church of England, which broke away from the Catholic Church at the time of the Reformation, and of course, because Henry VIII wanted to divorce his missus. So there you are. So really, the Church of England uh, was created uh, for the purposes of adultery. You see, so quite interesting from that point of view. But we need to appreciate these tiny, tiny differences. Otherwise, the people of Ireland need to realize that whether they're Catholic or whether they're Protestant, they are of exactly the same religion. Yes, have you got that? There we are. Fantastic. That's a good-looking guy behind you. Are you sure that's me? Or oh, the dog? Ah, yes, the dog is beautiful. I forgot to say Happy Easter, Scotty. Well, Dylan, a wee bit early because it's still Good Friday and Christ is still on his journey to Calvary. Then when he rises on Easter Sunday and dwells among us in his risen power, that's the time for celebration. That's the time to roll your eggs. So there we are. How many square foot is your gaff? Square foot, 144. 12 foot by 12 foot. Good evening from Belfast. Lovely to have you with us from Belfast, Chanty. I can tell you that for nothing. So there we are. No, we are not, says Ethan. No, you are not what? Guys, have you all followed me on here? Christians, yes, absolutely. Saying, Christian, follow me. Have you ever met or seen the Queen? Oh, I've seen the Queen a lot. So there we are. I haven't personally been introduced, but uh, I do uh, have a picture of me with her son. There's her son. And just beside him, you should be able to see Scotty McClure. Can you see there? There we are. So there's the Queen's son. And there is McClure. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, there we go. What about that? Jamie boy, that's disgraceful. In fact, Jamie, what I think I'll do is ban you uh, for that. Yeah, we're banning Jamie boy for being rude about his holiness. We don't have any of that on here. No sectarianism allowed on Scotty McClure, guys, just so that you know. There we are. And I think what you might find is that uh, people will be saying the Orange Lodge could march under the salt tire. There we are. Uh, I'm a Catholic and I certainly do not want a united Ireland. So there we are. We should be united under the Union flag. Yes, or what if you get independence, Mala, and you have your own flag, the St. Uh, the St. Patrick's flag. So there you are. Episcopalians are halfway between Catholics and Protestants. Well, you see, that's a good thing to be then, an Episcopalian. Because that's you got the best 
of both worlds. So maybe we, sh we should see a lot of growth in the Episcopal Church. You know, I know that the bishops suffered terribly in Scotland for their faith. So they are, guys, there's no point putting a load of Union flags here. Uh, the Union flag may well be passe because the blue background and the white diagonal cross might be removed from it if Scotland goes independent. Anglican is the Church of England. Yes, High Anglican is virtually a mass. You would be hard pushed to find much of a difference. There we are. Right, Scotty. And J. Mac mentions two top whiskies. I know them both very, very well, but I don't drink alcohol now. What do you think of John Knox? Well, I think he was a wonderful man because he wanted a school in every parish. So he wanted to educate the people. How amazing is that? Fantastic. So there we are. Happy Easter, Scotty. Not yet, but I'll take it. Thank you very much. John Knox shouldn't be taught. Of course he should be taught. Everything should be taught. Do you know any languages? Which one do you want me to speak? So watch your go-to pub in Glasgow. Um, I don't know. I used to frequent the horseshoe, uh, but I don't know. Have you ever stood behind Prince Charles? It looks like it. I did, yes. So I've met the Queen Mother, God rest her. Oh, she was a sweetie. There we are. Scotty came up with Easter Bunny. The Queen spoke Irish Gaelic. Yes, the Queen is very, very popular in Ireland nowadays. Prince Charles's Duchy of Cornwall is a burden the people, not at all TikTok. Quite the reverse. It brings a lot to it. Why would you rather pay for it? <laughs> there we are. The English might keep the Union flag like the Czechs kept the Czechs the vacuum flag. Well, you never know, Mickey. All It's all up for grabs. Guys, I'm going to push off now. I'm going to sing you the goodbye song. You ready? What do you think of Michael Collins? He was a remarkable man. I'm going to find out who shot him. So there we are. So Nathan, that's a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful thing to see. Stick your head up your backside and blow your nose till the pressure equalizes, Nathan, and apologize. So there we go. Right, guys, you're getting a bit silly now. I'm going to go. Uh, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute blast. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Follow me. Get on to the YouTube channel, Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Subscribe. Tap the bell. Ready for the lives there. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of vita thing. Au revoir and a cheery o. All inclusive. Good night, sleep well, and God bless you all. Dinky-doo. Ta-ra, last.